Hey guys, Alec uh, Pierce Scuba Tech Tips, and here is a, a short discussion, <clears throat> and very simply is this. How often should I service my regulator? Good question, good question. Because it depends on who you talk to. If you're talking to your local dive store <clears throat> owner, service person, you should be servicing it every two weeks. <laughs> we talked recently about service and how much service costs. Service costs have gone up considerably, you know that. I, we talked about it in, in a recent uh, video. I'll get Kevin to put the link on there for you. Um, it used to be we would do a service or regulator for $25. Yeah, $25. Of course, <clears throat> I, I was making six fifty an hour. Not that much, not that much. Anyway, a long time ago. And, and the parts came to like four dollars because we just took out the o-rings and the filter that we needed now now uh, uh, reputable service centers use factory kits only so so if you buy a ski pro regulator you take it in for service the service uh, serviceman will have ski pro kit or kits on the wall and that's all he will use so that all the parts are genuine oem it's called uh, original equipment manufacturers, in other words, they're made by Scuba Pro or sourced by Scuba Pro, and they fit perfectly for your regulator. So there's no, well, it's just 12 millimeter or half inch. Uh, it fits pretty good. None of that. It's it's made for that regulator. The downside is, of course, those kits are more money. Yeah, the kits run 30 to 50 dollars each. For Scuba Pro, you need at least two, and then your octopus, and on and on it goes. Plus, labor has gone up. So. Uh, um, uh, how often should you really service your regulator? And the answer is, is very debatable because it depends on you. In my experience, the majority of divers, now if you're a hardcore diver, you, you're not a week goes by, but you don't go on for at least two or three dives, week after week, summer and winter, doesn't matter. If you're a hardcore diver, this doesn't apply to you. But the vast majority of divers, in my experience, are what we would call part-time divers. That doesn't mean they're not good divers. They're just the opposite. They may be extremely good divers, but they don't dive all the time. They have a job. They have kids. They have education. Maybe they're in university. All kinds of things that impact on your time and other sports as well. Point is this. Even though recommendations may be to have your equipment serviced every year, if you, for whatever reason, have carefully and properly stored your equipment, and we just recently did a video on proper storage, if you have properly, I'll get Kev to put a link on for that too. If you have properly stored your gear, and it's been hanging in the, on the wall in the basement or somewhere for the past uh, year, not being used, no, you don't need to service it. Quickly here, look at this. This is Sherwood, big, big company, Sherwood Scuba here. They strongly recommended that the regular be inspected by an authorized Sherwood dealer at minimum annually or anytime you suspect performance has decreased or damage may, could be present. Well, that's, that makes sense. If you take the regulator, even if it's properly stored and you put it on the tank and it doesn't breathe properly or something's wrong, it free flows or it's hard to, or whatever, then yes, you take it in for service. But if you, you know, if, if that's not the case, if it's working fine and you haven't used it very much, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. It is also recommended that your regular receive a factory recommended service overhaul every other year or after 300 hours of use, whichever comes first. That spells it out, as they say there. It depends very much on the use. Now they put in 300 hours, which to me is an awful lot of hours on a scuba regulator. I would much rather they said 200 hours or even 100 hours. Uh, and that depends on things too. Maybe you only ever dive in fresh water. Well, yeah, you don't need a service. See, there's so many factors in there. So, what do I suggest? First of all, my title on this was a bit of a, a joke. Uh, I do service my regulators, but not very often. I don't dive nearly as much as, as I used to. I used to dive, oh, four, five hundred dives a year. Now that was a lot of personal dives and a lot of training dives. They all, they all count. Every time the rig goes underwater, uh, it, it counts. And then um, at least half of those would be in salt water. And a lot of them in very cold water too. So I service it very regularly. Of course I do. Not anymore. <laughs> I don't dive two or three hundred dives a year anymore. I dive four or five dives a year. Maybe a couple in fresh water, more likely a couple in, in salt water. So I rinse it very carefully, as you can see, store it properly, and the regulator is good for two or three years. How many dives? 100 dives maybe. 
Also, rely on your LVS. If you have over a period of time developed a relationship in your local dive store and service, uh, service uh, technician, you feel very confident, then go to them, explain, I've used this reg, ba 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 and this many, and so on. Should I get a service that seems to be working just fine? If it needs service, I'll tell you. If it doesn't need service, I'll tell you. That's a good dive store. But anyway, bottom line is, regardless of what it says in the book, doesn't mean to ignore it, but regardless of that, there's so many ifs in there. Cressy Sub recommends that you have your regulator service at least once a year, regardless of how many dives you've taken. Well, you know, once a year, I only made one dive. Or once a year, for some divers, could be two, three, four hundred dives. Servicing can be, form, can be performed more often if you use your rig intensively and if you want to support your local dive store. I put that in. <laughs> so, you know, take all of that and then you use what's called common sense. Yeah, very short supply common sense these days. But I know you all have some. If you just sit down and relax and use some common sense, you'll know. I know that's not a definitive answer. I'm not going to say every year, every 23 dives exactly. No, because it's not, it doesn't work that way. A little bit of common sense and I hope that helps. Anyway, yes, your regs need service. Yes, I do service my regulator. How much, how often? That's the question, and that's where you have to think a little bit. There's some ideas for you anyway, some parameters, some ifs answered. Well, I hope that has some information in there that might be of interest to you. Oh, by the way, we're here at, uh, at um, Dive Source. Yeah, we've been here before. Dive Source, Whitby, Ontario. So if you ever, and we're only a short distance from Lake Ontario, fantastic diving, clear water, warm, shipwrecks. Yeah, it's a good place, good dive store, nice place. Take care. Talk to you soon, Alec Pierce. Scuba Tech Tips. Bye-bye.